ever since I was small, man, I, I've always been drawn to martial arts. As soon as I was 17, I was able to get a job and I, I started funding my own, my own, uh, you know, martial arts expenses. And I'm glad I did. Anything, man, I'm pretty dedicated. And when you're dedicated, you don't have time to dabble around. You just want to focus on your goal. And my goal is just to be a, a really awesome martial artist. Every moment of my career is pretty much making it to the UFC, man. That was, whew, that was a dream come true. It was intense. That fight was not easy. It was uh, most, most fights that end in the first round. There's a lot that goes on before the fight ends. That in some cases feels like 15 minutes or you know, three rounds. Um, but he was able to pick me up, slam me, and I was able to get back up and, uh, and, and do my thing. And that's when I knew. I was built for MMA. I just threw myself in the fire. It just woke me up. It put me in a different estate. You know, now I know I'm in the big leagues. You know, it was one of those wake-up calls like, whoa, all right, this is a different level of competition. The Holy War Angel was a name that God gave me. Angel basically is a messenger. My job to compete in the, in the most exciting way possible and to deliver the message of God loves you. When I put God first, he allows me to take care of the rest, meaning my son, my schools, learning. Growing as a martial artist, growing as a human being. After a while, when you've mastered something like martial arts, you're in a position where you become a teacher, no matter what, because people flock to you. They want to know, they want to train, they want to grow. We're going to do it last time. You feel like you're having a bad rush? Rush. We're going to work with team. Sidekick. Master Luis has been an angel. I mean, I, I was brought in as a body for him. He had a fight coming up. It was about four or five years ago. And uh, we sparred. Didn't know him from a hole in the wall. But he kicked my ass. And off of what I saw, I was like, man, I got to train this guy. This guy's a traditional martial artist who, who, who fights like a savage. You need 50% of traditional style training and then 50% of savagery like training. I'm ready, I'm ready for anyone. In case, man, I'm a savage king, man, straight up. Um, and what I mean by savage king is that uh, I'm still that holy war angel, but I'm a competitor and I'm a conqueror. And when I'm in there, man, I, I want it. I want it all. I want the win. I want it in spectacular fashion. And I want it, I want it my way.